All right, I'm going to show you how to make a garage floor. As you know, our garage floor is not as thick as the rest of our uh, foundation or our slab. And um, it's uh, the rest of our slab is six inches to where the garage floor slab is four inches. So we kind of build it in two parts. Get my glasses on here so I can see. All right. We build it in two parts, and I'll start with the four inch part. To do it, I go into my floor tool, and I use this 12 inch that's already selected, but I'm going to edit that, so I'm going to duplicate it. Call this four inch concrete. I'm going to edit it, change this to four inches, and change the category of the material to cast in place gray concrete. And I'm good to go, good to go. And I'm going to draw this. I'm not going to pick walls, I'm going to draw it. And I'm going to start, I'm actually not going to draw the entire garage. I'm actually going to come down about three feet. Um, and I'm, what I'm creating is this raised area. A lot of garages have that raised area toward the back. And then the rest of the garage would be at, at that lower four inch level. So this is my four inch level. And this back here is going to be that raised area. It's going to be uh, six inches like the rest of the uh, slab. Okay, so there's my four inch, and, and as you noticed, I drew it to the walls, to the inside walls of the garage area. Okay, next I'm going to draw the six inch part, and I'm going to go into floor again. And I can just duplicate this four inch. And call it a six inch edit turn that six inches okay I'm gonna start actually down here because it's actually going to be six inch thick under all the walls and this area back here and that is a part of the you know the regular part of the foundation in the slab but draw lines make sure I get locked on to my points here and uh, I might have to do some adjusting because that line and now I'm going to draw around the inside part now here's that raised area in the back it's going to be six inches and now I'm going to escape out of the tool and edit some of these other pieces using my arrow keys just nudge those left right up and down and now that part is done that's my six inch uh, section and I just click the uh, check mark and now I have the six inch portion of my garage now let's go in and inspect our work we're gonna click on view do a section view we're gonna cut it through here and we're gonna go and take a look at it and we have to take the four inch part and we just gotta lower its elevation just a little bit. And I just click on it and hit the down arrow keys and get it down here where it's supposed to be. All right, and to see how that works with the other perimeter portion of it that goes around here, I'll make another cutaway all right and you can see this is the four inch part of the slab this is the six inch part of the slab that i you know made a little thicker all right and one other thing that you'll want to do is this, the, the garage floor has to have a little bit of a slope to it so let's go to our 3d hide the wall and the garage door well let's do that I'm going to select the four inch 
we get a good front view of it. Front elevation view. Modify um, sub elements. Click here and modify sub elements. And then it uh, lights up the garage floor to where it can be modified. And I think what I want to do is click on each one of these back corners. All right, and I'm going to raise it. I'm just going to raise it one half of an inch. So Oops, I got to click on the number. So 0.5 inch. Now that will give my garage the slope that I need so that water can drain out of it effectively. We'll go in here again. Let's go to our section views and check our handiwork. And now you can see barely that there is a slope to it starting a little bit higher up there and going down out here and that is your that is a garage floor that's how you do the garage floor